Hello, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 137. What we're going to do today is use those names we created in Name Manager last time, Collect 2 and Month 2, and we're going to take those and put those into these charts so that they reflect the data as we update, just like these two charts we started with did. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with this chart. We're going to go to Design, Select Data, and we'll edit the legend first, and we're going to say, okay, scrolling B1, that title is okay, but instead of this, we're going to go here, and we're going to say, collect2 is the name of our series values, and click OK. And then over here, I just want to show you, if you take away scrolling and you just try to type month2 in here, it's going to blow up and say, I don't know what month2 is, I'm all confused. But if you put the name of the page and an exclamation mark in there, so it says scrolling month2, then it's happy. And we're getting a little closer. We got a couple of issues here with the axes, so let's fix this first. See how these, this is 480, 460, 440, this is every 20,000. Let's give ourselves a little more room here. So we're going to make the major unit instead of every 5,000, I want to line every 20. And down here, let's go here, and oops, I got the chart area, come here. That's what I want. Then I'll get format axis. And from there, we're going to fix it at a major unit every month, which means I'm going to get every month, December, January, February. And now this looks an awful lot like that does. And let's see if I can scroll up here. We'll roll this along. And as this changes, so does that. And as this changes, so does this. So we're we're uh, we're there on this chart up here. Now we got to add the shade down to the lower chart. So I'm going to come here. We'll go to Design, Select Data. This time we're going to add another series. And for the series name, I'm just going to call it shading. Series values is just this whole range. And I'll click Enter there. Click OK. Click OK and go back up to the top. And now what I've got, see in red here, is the series value. So it's zero for a while, and then it goes up. And that's just because, see, that the data is moving for me just the way it should. I've just got to format this a little bit. So let's work on this for a minute. When we highlight it, then the next thing we need to do is to go through and create, make this a different type of chart. Right now it's a line chart. This is not a line chart over here. What we're going to do, let's go to design, change chart type. Scroll down and say, no, no, I don't want you to be a line. I want you to be an area chart. There we go. Now we've got something really close to this. But if I want this to be more of a blue color instead of this red, why I can click this and we can go to format and shape fill something like that and we're close and now we're there I've got charts that as I roll this along the shades gonna move this is gonna move this says September 2007 that says September 2007 I've replicated these charts here and they're moving both based on this what I'm gonna do next is show you how I got this scroll bar in there and we'll set another scroll bar hook to this uh, this cell and just show you how it works. I'll show you how this cell works and we'll do all that next time. Thanks for watching.